In this example, we are going to read an Excel file created by uh, Microsoft Excel, and we are running on a Linux machine, so you'll see that uh, we don't have we don't need a Windows uh, system for this. What we have here, actually, is I opened the file with uh, the calc program of LibreOffice, and you can see that these are just uh, silly strings here, in mostly. There are two numbers, two and three, and then there is an expression that calculates the, this value. So this is the file that we are going to, to parse, and um, here is the script itself. The way it, we are using the Spreadsheet Parse Excel simple module, there is also a Spreadsheet Parse Excel, but it's just, well, more complex. It will also allow you to uh, have more control of what you do or what you get, and you could be able to get more details from the spreadsheet, but in many cases that's just not necessary. So we are using this module, loading it without importing any of its functions, probably doesn't even have functions, because this is an object-oriented module. Yeah, we are calling the read method on it, as you can see, and giving it a name of the file, and that will read in the file and create an XLS object, an object of this uh, type of the module. Then on that object we can call the sheets method. The sheets method will return the all the sheets that are in there, so you can see that there is one sheet, two sheets, three. There will all, all of these sheets that uh, the, the the pages that has uh, Excel. And for each sheet, we go and uh, loop over uh, the rows as long as the, the the sheet has more data. So if there are more rows with data, and then we just fetch from the sheet, we just fetch the next row, which will return the values in the fields in that. Uh, row. So, and then we just uh, join them together with a pipe and then print it out. So let's see how it, it looks if when I run it, so a Perl read Excel, the name of the file is hard coded. So you can see that it prints out the fields separated with pipes. Uh, first of all, you will see this, this is five. So this is the result of the computation, not the computation itself, so not the form. What you will see is the result already. And uh, also you will see that uh, there are different numbers of pipes depending on how many fields were filled. So when there are fields from on the left hand side that, that are empty, they are will become just empty here. Uh, so when, when joining together they will be just empty strings. On the other hand, if the, the fact that there are longer rows doesn't mean that uh, these rows will have those fields. So the last row has only three fields, and this row, the, the one before, is just empty. Uh, if you just want to see this, then we can replace the print, this print, by uh, print scalar data that will print out the number of elements instead of the array, the content itself. So you'll see that the number of elements of each row is changing. And that's it, that's how you can read uh, in a simple way the content of an Excel file.